Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to delete files from input folder once files are copied into the output folder using the Fabric Pipeline. Generally, what happens in real time? So you have a source system. From source system, you will be copying data into the cloud services uh, like Data Lake or Blob or SQL database, right? So once we load the data into this uh, target system in the Data Lake or Blob or database, we need to remove the data. We need to delete the data from the source folder if it is a source folder, if it is a only one file you need to delete that file if you have multiple files from the folder you need to delete all the multiple files from that particular folder let's see how we can able to delete the files from input folder once those are copied into the output folder it is kind of a cut and paste normally if you use cop copy activity you will be just copy and pasting it but when you say uh, copying the files and deleting from source it indicates cut and paste okay how to implement this in the data fabric pipelines we will see quickly first let me go to the data factory i'll create two lake houses okay go to workspaces i'll go to my workspace i'll create a first lake house okay click on lake house cloud pandit cloud pandit source lake house 001 create it okay so this name is already available when it says you can say src lake house 001 okay so once the source for source lake house is ready you can just create a input folder here let's say i'll be just creating a input folder so inside input folder i'll be just uploading the some data let's upload files click on this now we can just go to eighth let's upload these three files okay let's upload this okay now you can just click on this you can now right click refresh it you should be able to see three files but why only we got two let's uh, re-upload or let's click on this refresh it once again no still i am seeing only two let's uh, click on this again i think all the files are not selected properly let's select all the three now if the files are available already you can move it okay good now everything is loaded you can see three files are loaded into the input now i'll go to the my workspace once again i'll click on this i'll go to lake house i'll create a cloud pandit okay sync lake house 001 okay. create it so we can see sync lake house is also available in the sync side i'll be creating a folder called output okay so is it mandatory no it is not mandatory it will it can be created on the fly using the data pipeline go to my workspace again click on new Let's create a data pipeline. So this pipeline is for PL4 data ingestion. Okay, data ingestion. You can say daily something like this, create it. So in this particular pipeline, we want to add a copy activity. Just click on this, add to canvas. So very simple because we were doing all these things since long time. Source is workspace lake house. Within the lake house, source is src lake house i want to choose src lake house under this i want to go to files wildcard file path because i want to take all the files okay so the main problem with this wildcard one is we want to uh, we can't browse it okay as of now we are not able to see any browsing option so what you can able to do is go to file path just browse it go to input so you can just see we have an input folder right what you can do once you select it take this particular path go to wildcard file path you can put this particular path here wildcard file name you can say stop i want to take all the files from the input folder what is our destination destination is also lake house but i want to copy into sync lake house go to files where you want to copy this i want to copy this data into the output folder but what is our goal our goal is not this right our goal is basically once the copy is successfully completed go to activities click on this you can see delete activity on success of copy activity from source to sync i want to delete the files from the source so that's why i'll be using a delete activity workspace choose the source lake house wildcard file path I, as i want to delete everything browse it select input 
So inside input folder, everything I want to delete. That's why wildcard file name is stop. Do we want to save the logs about what files are deleted and all? For now, we don't want to uncheck this. That's it. You are copying data from source lake house to the sink lake house. Once that is done, you are deleting the files from the source lake house. Go to home, validate your pipeline. There is no errors. Save this particular pipeline. Then you can run this pipeline. How simple it is? Very, very simple. Okay. So now let's see how the pipeline is running. Go to output. Now we can see here. So copy activity successfully completed. You can click on this copy activity to see how many files it read. Three, three files it has written into the output folder. Now, if you click on the, just to refresh this once again, delete activity is basically deleting the files. Let's, yeah, it's completed. You can click on the output. You can see how many files are deleted. Files deleted is three. Let's go to source lake house. Okay. In the source lake house, if you see the files are gone, can refresh it you can click on this you can expand this nothing files are not there in the source lake house but if you go to sync lake house refresh this you can see the files are available files what time files came just five o'clock 16 minutes 51 seconds very few seconds again okay but again if you go to source lake house you can't able to see any files here whatever you do you can't able to see because files are deleted Thank you for watching this particular video team. This is also very, very common real time requirement. Okay. So please subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, encourage me team. Thank you.